This video is proudly sponsored by Gamersgate. Download games anytime, anywhere. Visit Gamersgate.com. Welcome to Elder Geek's Elder Speak. Today is Wednesday, November 7th, 2012. My name is Randy Asenchok, editor of ElderGeek.com. Today in the background, you're actually going to be seeing leftover footage from my Assassin's Creed 3 video review. And I hope I've sifted through enough of it to not have any spoilers left over inside. But I'm not actually playing anything today. I'm spending some time doing some drawings for the first episode of 25 Games for my son. So uh, I haven't had a chance to play anything new today or to record anything specific. So I'm just going to kind of dive into my gigantic vat of footage from that, which, by the way, if anybody is curious as to how much footage is recorded to make a an 11 minute video review or a 10 minute video review or however long that was, over five hours of footage. That's what I ended up recording beforehand, and that's just to make sure that I have a good combination of cutscenes and storyline parts and fight scenes and everything along those lines. So a good amount of footage actually is done ahead of time to, before I do any video reviews like that. They're pretty extensive, but anyway. Moving on, there's quite a bit of news to cover today. First things first, um, it appears, and this is kind of an interesting one, Twitch has partnered up with Sony Online Entertainment to stream their games, specifically um, with Planetside 2. Now, what they're going to be doing is they're going to implement a system within Planetside 2 so that all you got to do is just click go live with Twitch and it goes live on Twitch in hopefully a non-intrusive manner. I'm not really, I mean, we have a Twitch channel, and I highly recommend everybody going to check that out, and I think that everybody, sh I think people should be excited about Planetside 2 taking advantage of this, this type of technology with Twitch, but the cooler part about this is, a large company like Sony is not only saying that they are okay with streaming, but they are embracing it as well, so people out there who are a little bit worried about the legality of Let's Play, um, probably can worry a little bit less, because if they're going to be having a giant like Sony, or at least Sony Online Entertainment backing them, it means most likely other games are going to be following. So that's pretty exciting for me. I'm, I'm very happy to see that. I like the fact that Let's Plays exist. I don't watch a ton of Let's Plays. I do watch Let's Plays on games that I'm pretty curious about, that I, I myself have not had the time to uh, sit down and play, um, because I know that I'm getting a nice preview of a game, and I know at the same time that the way that that person is playing it is not going to be the way that I'm going to be playing it. So it shows me what the game can do, and uh, and then I can go home and, and play it myself if I'm interested. So I, I don't think that Let's Plays should be a threat to the video game industry, but there are some companies out there that do see them as such. Moving on, though, because there's quite a few topics that I wanted to get through. This one kind of touches uh, a little close to home to me. PlayStation, the official magazine, is closing. Future US confirmed today that the production of PlayStation the official magazine is going to be stopped this year at the end of 2012 which is really sad because Future US also announced that they would be closing Nintendo Power so we lost Nintendo Power and now we're losing PlayStation official magazine I don't know it feels like my my youth and now my teenage years are kind of being <laughs> closed up one by one but more I think what's more sad for me are, is the fact that that print media is closing I like magazines I enjoy going to a store and picking up a, a magazine to flip through and read them iPhones iPads and everything like that are fine I have nothing against them I have no problems with with ordering a magazine and, and flipping through it through a mobile device but there is something completely different about picking up a magazine and leafing through it than there is to flipping through it on an iPad or or, or uh, any type of mobile device. So for me, that's sad. PlayStation, the official magazine, is closing. Um, yeah, that's that. Ooh, yeah, the open source gaming console that everybody kind of got up in arms about, that I probably even got up in arms about a little bit earlier, has officially moved into production, into development. The Kickstarter for that project actually banked in $8.5 million, so there's a lot of people who were expecting their Ouya to be coming in. The company made the announcement today that the Ouya has actually moved in from the design phase into development. So that means hopefully sometime within the very near future, people who have either prepaid for their Ouyas or people who want to see what the Ouyas are going to be doing will be seeing that much sooner rather than later. Watch Dogs, the drool-worthy game that uh, that Ubisoft had announced during E3 this year is going to be hitting shelves 
in 2013. Looks like it's going to be hitting shelves for PS3, 360, and PC. Probably not all at the same time. Ubisoft has that really nasty habit of staggering their releases, like I kind of spoke about yesterday for Assassin's Creed 3. But uh, Watch Dogs is actually going to be one of my most anticipated games of 2013, so I'm very excited about that. In fallout of THQ's announcement yesterday of their financial difficulties, today their stock dropped 50%. And uh, it appears that the company is only worth about $10 million right now, which is just a fraction of the budget of one of their games. Um, that is sad news. Hopefully this means that they're, with, with their stock prices dropping this low, hopefully this is a sign that they are reorganizing themselves. Hopefully that they are, are getting themselves onto more stable financial ground and will go back up. On the bright side, I suppose that if you are brave enough, you could probably buy THQ stock pretty cheap right now. But whether or not they go back up is is a big gamble, I think, at the moment. Hopefully they are going to be staying afloat for their next big games. Their, their next three big games are some of my most anticipated in the, probably the past five years or so, so fingers crossed for THQ. Again, support your single player game makers out there, and, uh, and let's hope for the best for THQ to, to pull out of this. Not that I'm a THQ fanboy, far from it, but it is always really nice to have a good alternative or, or many companies to be adding into the video game pool so that diversity kind of continues to flow. But. That's sad news for THQ. And rounding out for today, because I actually want to get back to uh, working on the video for 25 games for my son, Steam today has announced and launched their beta for their Linux platform. I will throw up links for all of these articles yourself so you can check them out and uh, hopefully learn more about them as you see fit. That ought to do it for me today. Once again, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below or send an email to info at elder-geek.com. Follow us on Facebook. I don't just say that because it's a cool thing to do to get more likes on our Facebook page. I mean that because if you really do have a question, our Facebook page is probably the best way to get in contact with me, and we actually have oftentimes some pretty good back and forths going on there. And if I make any changes in the lineup saying, hey, the Assassin's Creed video review is going to be late, or the Far Cry video review is going to be late, the Facebook page is probably going to be the first place that you will find out about it. So follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Of course, we have our Twitch TV page, which I highly recommend following. And um, you can also follow me personally on Twitter as well. That's it for me today. Thanks so much, everybody. I will talk to you all tomorrow.